Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create floating text effect in Filmora 10. So this is, this is another uh, very simple trick in Filmora 10 to create floating text like this. Okay, so let's go to the software. I will show you how just in some minutes. Okay, so here I am inside Filmora 10. So the first thing we need to create a text. So it's very simple. We just uh, use all the viewing uh, material inside Filmora 10. So we go to title and select included and then uh, go to title again. And we select this default title, okay? Let's drag and drop it onto the timeline. Uh, very simple, okay? And uh, let's view the whole timeline. Now we need to change the text, okay? Double click on that and here, we change it to floating text. Okay, I'm going to change the fonts also. Uh, and increase the size. One red. Uh, uh, it is still small, so we go with 120. Okay, that's it's fine now. And being mentioned that you can also uh, select any preset here like this uh, for the yellow and uh, this one. Uh, but I, I will go with the, the text st style number two, okay? And then uh, we are going to click OK. Uh, now we go to the effect. And then uh, in the included folder, remember to go to included folder and go to the distortion. So in the distortion, we have many, many special effects about water and uh, we can select uh, some of them. But for the, uh, for the effect that I showed you at the beginning of this tutorial, we are going to uh, use this one, Water Ripple, okay? Let's just drag and, uh, drag and drop it on top of the title track, okay? So it's uh, like this. So you see that uh, it's flo floating now, right? And we can also double click on the effect uh, to adjust some uh, parameter here. For example, le the level I'm going to is there. Increase uh, increase the level to 100 percent, but uh, 100. But it is uh, up to you. And the high also, uh, I will go with 500. So this is just my uh, personal personal uh, customization. You can customize it uh, yourself. Okay, let's click OK. And here's the first effect floating. Okay, and I want to uh, make it more realistic. So I, I want to uh, add some uh, raindrop effect in here. So we have another raindrop uh, here. So this is a raindrop effect inside Filmora 10. Uh, let's drag and drop it on the top track again. Okay. And now we have here and we can double click on the raindrop effect also. To adjust, uh, for example, the radius, we can increase it to uh, reduce it uh, to 50. Okay. And the density, I want to have its maximum. So I increase it to 10. Okay. Let's say. Uh, all the other parameters can I can leave it by default, okay? And then uh, we can click OK, and let's uh, drag and drop another footage uh, onto the timeline to see, just uh, for testing. So we're going to use the sample video, and this one, the beach again. Let's drag and drop it uh, down here. So uh, we're going to uh, keep the project setting, okay? And here we have. Okay, so I'm I'm uh, I'm happy with the the effect. Then I can delete the uh, delete the video, and then now I need to export this uh, uh, short footage. Okay, go to export, and this called text, and go to setting. And I want to uh, keep the frame rate at 30, and also the bit rate. I want to to make it uh, 30,000 kbps, and then click OK. Uh, now go, I'm going to export it. Yeah, just wait a second. <laughs> it will be very fast uh, because uh, this is just a short of five second uh, second clip. Uh, why do I have to export it? Because I want to export this footage and then I bring back to Filmora so I can uh, overlay it on top of my video. That is a floating text and title or something like that. Okay. Okay, so we have here, so find the target. Uh, here's the target. Okay, text number one. Okay, let's go back to Filmora. And then uh, let's try and drop it here. So now we we can delete the, the title and everything on the timeline. Okay, and then uh, we drag and drop the footage. 
into Filmora like this. Uh, now I have my my video here. So at the at the beginning of this tutorial, this is a footage of me talking in front of the camera. Okay. Now we replace the the text the video the text video we have just exported on top track. So supposing like that I want to uh, I want it to appear here. Okay. Nice. Right. Now we didn't. Uh, Okay, just a second. Okay, now we need to uh, to do one more step. Uh, let's pause it. Uh, we need to to do one more step uh, in the compositing. Okay, so we double click on the text video, and then we find the property here. So we have the compositing tabs. Uh, so we go to video, and then go to compositing. And here we need to select an option here. So there are many options here, about 15 uh, different compositing options you can choose normally to, uh, to eliminate uh, the black background in the, your video. You can select screen, right, uh, this one, and you have the floating text here. This is just example, right, but uh, you can be more creative here. If you, just, uh, if you select other blending options, for example, I can uh, select multiply and it will uh, create different uh, effect here. And there's many, many things here, such as color burn and line burn and lighten and screen and color dodge. And so there's many options here, many, uh, many, many blending, uh, blending options here. So you can select any of them to be creative, to create your own, uh, your own floating text title. Okay. So that is a very simple trick. I, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.